My 29 male, soon to be ex husband, seems to feel entitled to another chance with me. 28 female. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My 29 male, soon to be ex husband, seems to feel entitled to another chance with me. 28 female. My husband and I have been together almost eight years. Married for two and a half of those. Last May 2019, we separated seemingly overnight. He left me in our toddler and moved back to his hometown. There was never a solid reason given. Just that he felt we should have never gotten married. In July, he changed his tune and wanted to be a family again. He was still at his job in his hometown, so I decided I would ride it out at my job in a different city for a couple of months to build my resume and then start looking for other jobs in his hometown. After six months of a brutal commute, taking care of our child during the weeks by myself and driving to his hometown every weekend, interviewing, basically bending over backwards. I finally landed a great job in December. A week before, I was to move into the new house we were buying together and start my new job. I found out he had been having an affair. He begged and pleaded for me to stay with him and said he'd break off all contact and I foolishly agreed to give him another chance. Two days later, while I was back in the different city and completing my last week of work at my old job, he unblocked her on everything and liked her pictures and Instagram. I was devastated. On top of that shit show, he kicked me out of the house we were supposed to move in together and I had to find a new place to live two days before starting my new position. We have lived separately ever since. He has said and done so many hateful things in the same time period and said so many times that he wants a divorce that I've lost count. Up until a month ago, he was still maintaining contact with her. I saw her car at his house, took pictures for the lawyers, etc. And he admitted he had been talking with her still. I stopped doing the pick-me dance about a month ago and stopped reaching out to him besides contact about our child. Now he has suddenly changed his tune and is desperate to get me back and will do anything. He hasn't followed her on everything and liked all her pictures. Tells me not to give up on our family. I've moved on. I am not interested in pursuing another relationship with him. He's hurt me deeply and I feel like I've been fucked over by him so many times that I've lost count. How can I tell him there isn't chance without sounding like a completely heartless person? I still want to be able to maintain a strong co-parenting relationship with him, so I am friendly to him. But he seems to take that as I want him back. I have relayed to him my feelings. But they fall in deep ears. He says he will never stop trying to get our family back together and does not want a divorce. I do. Does anyone have advice? Update. Well, turns out my gut instincts were right. The entire time he was begging for another chance and promising this time would be different. I wrong. He was still sleeping with the affair partner and telling him he loved her and would do anything to make it work with her. It didn't even hurt me to find it out. It was that unsurprised. It just helped me to stop feeling guilty. I divorced his ass. I thank the universe every day that he is no longer connected to me in a romantic way. It feels like an enormous weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Shortly after my original post, I met someone by chance at a wedding and fell in love. This person is everything my ex-husband was not. The kindness, compassion, and respect they show not just me, but to my daughter as well. It's like something from a dream. 
I never knew love could be so easy. To anyone in a loveless marriage reading this, leave. Do the hard thing, especially if they have a pattern of leaving, slash returning, slash cheating, etc. Lord knows I was terrified to cut a cord. At one point in time, I was actually starting to feel bad for the guy because he was begging me every single day for another chance. He tried to convince me that getting a divorce would ruin my future, our daughter's future. That she would come from a broken family, but it was the exact opposite. It was a broken already and I fixed it. Once I made up my mind that divorce was the best option, I absolutely thrived. Life has never been so sweet. The bad shit makes the good shit so much better. Thank you, Reddit, for the support in my original post. It helped turn my graveyard into a garden.